Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about how to extract custom shapes from a workbook. A few days ago, we talked about a similar topic, that is how to copy custom shapes from one workbook to another. Well, the purpose is always if we see custom shapes somewhere in uh, somebody's uh, workbook and we like the shapes and we like to reuse them in our design then we want to either copy them or extract them and save it into our shape directly let me show you how to do it it will take three steps first unpackage or unzip the workbook with twbx extension and uh, extract the twb file from the package we will use the same example as in my previous video, this example is created by George Gorzinski. This is a Lawrence attractor, and the George is using a special custom shape. And the shape palette is called the George. Okay. So we are going to show you how we can extract this palette into our shape directory. So I downloaded this uh, workbook from George's uh, blog and to unpackage it, it it's really easy because after we installed tableau desktop we will see this menu in case that you do not see this menu which uh, somebody said okay I, I see somebody said this uh, on the web you can actually rename the extension to zip and then use the windows utility unzip to Unpackage the workbook. Today we are going to use Unpackage directly. And voila, we just uh, unpackage the, the workbook. So it's the TWP file we are interested. The second step is uh, from the Excel shape extractor by Robert Mandigo. Open the TWP file from there. This is the shape extractor, which is an Excel file, which is created by Robert Mandigo. We see his name there. I will provide the link to his blog in the description below, and you can go and download this extractor by yourself. Let's open it. So enable the content, uh, and uh, we will select the Tableau workbook. Voilà. Select the TWB file, open it. Voilà. We see all the custom shapes are already extracted. And it is in the same directory folder. Okay, let's have a look. So here we go. So next we just to cut and uh, paste it in the default. Pablo shapes directory and uh, paste it there. Voila, we are done. And uh, now every workbook that we open will have access to this shape palette called George. That's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.